Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download your files from your Google Drive and store them on your computer. This came up yesterday because Google had a little outage and a lot of people started wondering, hmm, I don't have any backups on my local computer anymore. How do I do that? So here's how to do it. You can see here I'm in a Google Drive account. I'm actually in my dog Mason's Google Drive account. He has very few files in here. But let's go and see how he can download any of the content that's stored in his Google Drive. There's a few ways to go about doing it. So first of all, let's take this big sample document he has. And he can go here, hit File, Download As, and then download it in any of these file formats. So I can say here, we're going to download this one as a Word document, and now it's stored right on my computer. But if you've got a lot of files, that could be tedious to open every single one, then go into the file menu, then download. So you can also right click and hit download, and that will start the download into Word format. You can also do multi select, and I'm multi selecting right now by simply holding down the control key on my keyboard and selecting those three files. Then I'll right click and download. And when I do, you can see it's zipping those files together into one folder. Now, speaking of folders, let's say I have a folder full of handouts for class. Well, I can now right click on that and download and that will download as a zip file as well. So those are a few different options that I have for downloading files directly from my Google Drive. But I can also go to Google's takeout service. It's takeout.google.com, signed into the account that I want to take things out of. Now, this will allow me to download my data, my information, my files that are stored in any of the Google services that I've used. So you can see here the Google Arts and Culture. Now, this is going to give me three or two different file formats here of HTML, a list of my favorites on Google Arts and Culture, and a list of galleries that I've created. And that would be in a CSV file. My favorites will be in an HTML file. Blogger, that's going to give me multiple formats. My calendar, Chrome, my Google Sites. Classroom, you can actually download the information from your classroom, but you need to know how you can reuse that. And that's a topic for another video. And then here we have Google Drive, and you can see it's going to give me all drive data and I can say I want all drive data and I want to download all of it and then once I've selected all the things that I want to download let's hit the next step to make this a quick demo let's do this I'm going to deselect and I'm only going to select here drive okay. and I'll use my advanced settings And I'm going to use just Drive. I just want Drive information. None of the other services right now. Hit my next step. And I want it to send me a download link via email. Can also add it to my Drive, which is kind of ironic. I can add it to Dropbox, to OneDrive, add it to Box. But in this case, I'll just say, send me a download link via email. And I want it to export just once or you can say export every two months for a year you can see the type of file you want to get most people are going to want a zip file and you can see that you can specify the size of that zip file okay. so let's create my export and it's now creating a copy. And you'll see here, it can take a long time, possibly hours or days to complete before it'll all be ready. But that's how you can 
download the content that you have stored in your Google Drive and other parts of your Google account. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.